Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So the game just updated. Um, I wasn't able to look at the patch notes within the game, so I, I brought up the patch notes on Google Chrome. So we're going to be taking a look at the all the new patches, um, just basically all the all the new things that they they included in this update. So hard difficulty is now now open. Um, I haven't tried that. The new improve exploration players defend successfully against players. They will get daggers as a reward, which means. If players deploy stronger exploration parties, they will be more likely to get daggers. Yeah, that's actually interesting. Uh, so basically, if you have stronger teams, more like more chances for you to to get more daggers. Um, improved Col Colosseum. Wait, improved. I, I didn't look at this equipment collection. Um, is is illustrated equipment book. Players will see a quite wide range of equipment in a more convenient way. I guess that's all right. Well, I'll take a look at the, the the new UI changes for equipment as well. Um, improved Coliseum players will see contenders' fighting power information. Players can have rebattle after battle finishes. All right, so hmm. automatic battle mode players. Wait, what? Players are able to use automatic battle mode in story stages, which means it will become easier for all players to play the game and raise their character levels. I think this is like repeat or something. I'm not sure. Like similar to what they have on on Monster Super League, like a 20 times replay or something like that. I think I think it might might be pretty good. Um, manual battle rewards. Player can still enjoy manual battle mode. They get special rewards from it. Players get a high level equipment items at random if you do manual battle instead of automatic battle. All right. Um, New two pets. Wait, two new pet. New two pets will be added. Oh, two new pets will be added. Um, if free and phoenix, I'll take a look at those as well. Um, three Valentine costumes for for these three. Battle coin newly added reward to the Coliseum. You can get battle coins by battling against players whose ranking is higher. Adjusted reset cost for normal difficulty. Diamonds for resetting the number of possible attempts in normal difficulty will be adjusted below. I don't think anybody actually does this. This is this is way way overpriced. Um, Twenty three new equipment items will be added. This is for like hard hardcore pay to win. Um, and then there's a Valentine's package and other changes. After winning ten consecutive battles in arena, rewards wouldn't change. Oh, these are just bug fixes. So that's pretty much it. Um, those are just some some little little changes that they they uh. They made. We're gonna we're gonna actually take a look at the actual changes in the game. So we're gonna do. Uh, let's just let's just take a look at the equipment thing because I'm I'm a little bit curious about what the heck they changed with the equipment. I have no idea. I don't get it. I, I don't get what they changed. Um. All right. I'll just I'll just, I'll just forget about that. I want to see what's in the shop actually. See if there's anything important I can buy in the shop with sandals still refuses refuses to give me my chest piece for Lara I just need that chest piece to complete my set it's, it's like impossible to get all right so we're gonna take a look at the auto automatic battle as well as the hard mode stages um, I'm still stuck on nine nine one. I still can't beat nine two. Like I, I mean, I should be already. I should have already been able to be strong enough to do it, but um, I've been slacking off. All right. So, wait, wait, wait. No, no. I'm actually more curious about the automatic battle thing. Let me just uh pick a random, just a stage at random. So if I manual, if I do manual battle, I can get equipment. I have a chance to get equipment. What is repeat? Auto repeat will run until you run out of daggers or tries, or fail to clear the stage. Yeah, this that is exactly like the the twenty times thing on on Monster Super League. So it basically just runs you through the stage. I'll all right, I'll 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 see what happens. Yeah, that that is interesting. That is that is actually really good. But if you do the auto repeat, it doesn't give you 
It doesn't give you the boxes, I think. That's kind of weird. I don't. I don't know. I like the bo boxes. Don't actually matter that much because um, they're just shitty equipment. But I mean, like, why would you punish people for using this option? I mean, all I have to do is run a script to to click the re repeat key, which is what I did w during the um, during the, the the event for for like the time when there was the um, the New Year's event with the New Year's Elder. And it, there was like a, a week where the, where it was well not not a week but like a few days where it was like double gold the whole entire day. I I farmed like crazy during those times. So in three seconds it should automatically put me in a, another match. All right, that that is really interesting. I I might be farming a lot more than um in this game. I think this definitely brought up my motivation to farm a lot more. Because having to click repeat is is super annoying. Like I'm just I'm so not used to that. And like, um, the combat of this game is kind of like it's basically full auto. Like it's it's actually better for you to go full auto most of the time because the your your pets will activate their skills more like actually when it's up, like the moment it's up, rather than having a delay if you if you actually decide to manual it. Um, so yeah, and and. In lineage, it's actually better to, to like auto shit, you know. So, so I think this definitely brought up my motivation to play a bit more, like just to, just to farm a bit more when I'm when I'm doing other things, because I'm I'm like always playing a lot of games at the same time, so I, I don't always have time to, to keep clicking. Um, but yeah, that, that's really cool being able to, to fully auto. It's definitely a really really big change, and I think this huge huge improvement for, for this game. Um, Alright, let's take a look at hard mode. I think a lot of people are interested in hard mode as well. I'm not sure what I should do. I don't know if it's going to take a long time, but I'll I'll try to get as far as I can. Um, hard mode wants you to survive with as many units as possible. And that ready button was still in Korean, so they, they actually... I think they forgot to translate that button. Not sure what you get with hard mode. Wants you to clear it with three members alive. Shouldn't be too difficult. I think only the first map has hard mode. I'm not sure what the point of doing hard mode is. I'll see what the rewards are. So I still got the potion. I can't read this. Um, <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, I cleared this. Wait, does it not cost anything to clear hard mode? I don't think this is meant for you to farm on repeat. It's just like a, just like a thing you beat. What is this? What is change? Did I click this? All right, let's just test it out. It's actually interesting. Oh, you can reroll the the daily things that you can get. So you, basically, you can get an extra potion for doing hard mode. If you roll a change, it, it, it gives you a different reward, a different colored potion. I don't need any of these, so it's like, whatever, fuck it. Uh, I'll just go in and and uh, and do it. I don't know, I think only the first few maps will have hard mode. But if you can get extra potions, like the, the highest level ones, it's definitely, um, definitely worth working on. Dude, the auto battle thing, I'm still so happy about it. I, I think I'm, I'm really excited again. Like, I... The, the New Year's... Elder event like just completely burned me out. Um, but now I think I'll I'll auto a lot more. It's definitely really awesome being able to just run things on auto until you run out of energy and shit. So this gives you dagger pouches, and the good thing about um, about this mode is I don't think it costs anything. It doesn't cost you any energy to do, so you should definitely do this still every single day. Well, at least for the higher level floors, like if you have time, you know. Damn, that auto thing kind of made me regret doing that summoning session a little while ago. Wasted all my diamonds.
Clear without healer pets. Oh shit, I was supposed to clear without healers. Well, it would be it would actually be really helpful if it wasn't in full Korean, you know? Does Adele count as healer? I don't think she counts. I don't think I need her either, so let's just go let's just go with this. I wonder if you can auto the tower. Tower is damn annoying to do. Dang, I wish it wasn't in Korean, you know? I wish it wasn't in Korean. So only map 1 and 2 has hard mode. But it does give you these epic potions, which is actually pretty good. Clear without front type pet heroes. Alright, um... Go like this. We know this is not a front. Like this. Okay, it wasn't in Korea and I was just, uh, I was just dumb. This is really good, like if in the future they, they start giving those, uh, those epic quality potions. Like the ones you need to get to legendary grade. It would be awesome. Yeah, I don't think NCSoft is done with this game. Like, I feel like they released the game like before it was actually complete I think but after after it be actually becomes complete I think it, they'll probably do like a actual global launch and I'm not sure maybe maybe I'll switch servers by that by that time probably more fun to, to play on on the NA server I mean, I did spend a lot, and I did spend a lot of time on this, but um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that much, like repeating the game from from like just level one with everyone, and then trying again to like compete with all the all the whales and stuff. It's actually a pretty smart strategy if you think about it. You you can release it in like Southeast Asia. Um where like a lot of people don't really have like open forums and stuff. Like if you search up Lineage Red Nice, there's not a lot of info on Google and stuff. And then you can you can make a relaunch again. It's like advertise like mad, you can relaunch again um, for, for NA and Europe after they after after they fix everything, you know, and make the game perfect. If they do launch it globally, I don't know. Maybe they will. I'm thinking they will because they they like they spent so much. I feel like. I feel like this this game was like just super detailed. They they spent so much on this. And they're still going as well, so might as well keep going, right? Was that everything? I'm not sure what else there was. I can't I can't actually remember what else there was. But I think that's that's basically it. That's like the most important parts. Oh yeah, there's two new pets. So I'll I'll take a look at those as well. I think that should be it, and I'll I'll do my summons. So this is the the phoenix and the ifrit. Um, take a look at the phoenix first. All right, so the phoenix has mat. It, it is a magic damage. What is it? Is it a frontliner? Wait, how can I how can I tell which what type of unit it is? Alright, it's a, it's a mage basically, but it's a... 
is it front line? I can't even tell. Like I think it's back line, or I don't even know if it's front, mid, or back. Um, summons an avatar of self, rushes towards enemy, strikes your right, chance to. So basically, he fears. 30% um, chance to fear, and this hits three enemies. 550, which is not not that bad. Um, interesting. He has a debuff that does physical damage, his physical damage as burn. And then he does magical, so he does mix damage. And then he has a chance similar to the Bone Dragon of resurrecting. And he gains damage reduction for a period of time when he res resurrects. I guess he's pretty good. Your free is fire damage um, 400, so he's physical. Deals bonus damage on crits, so he scales better with crit. Um, oh shit! He buffs physical damage buff. And he increases evasion. Holy shit, this guy's god tier. Holy fuck, he's he's really strong. This guy's really, really good. Alright, um I think that's that's it. That's that's pretty much everything. Alright, so I'll do my summon and I think I, I, I don't really have anything else to do. Oh my god, it's Irina three days in a row? What the fuck? <laughs> that is that is pretty dumb. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll just keep farming now that there's auto farm. I'll definitely be farming a lot more. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.